Hey friends, it's Brian and I'm going to be working on my 1990 F350 rescue slash rebuild project. And today I'm going to be working on the fuel system again. So the last couple of videos I changed out the fuel pump which lives back there in the nether reaches of the engine. Today I'm going to put in a temporary hose. I'm going to put some diesel in that one gallon container. I'm going to take the diesel out of this bus because, well, it's diesel and it'll be fine. Um, and then I'm going to fire it over and just see if we can get fuel pressure up here on this relief valve. Haven't been getting fuel pressure up here, and this is one of the reasons it won't run. Um, previously, I solved all this electrical voodoo that was going on up here. Made some nice cables. You can check out the playlist if you want to see those other videos. Um, and uh, we'll just see where this takes us. So today is troubleshooting the fuel system um, again. Some diesel from the bus it was really pretty easy, and now I'm going to attach the cheap Amazon fuel line so we can do the pressure test. things to be suspicious of. Turn this hose to length and see if it'll drink diesel. All right, so here is our makeshift diesel can. That should be more than sufficient. So we're going to turn this off. Sip, sip. All right, so as long as we provide 12 volts from the battery to the starter solenoid terminal, it will turn over. And what we really want to know is, do we get pressure over here? Yes. So that means we now have a functional fuel pump. So let's get it bled. First, let's get the battery So I'm going to stop this video here because at this point I've shown that I have a lift pump. It will pull fuel the next stage to see if we can actually get this motor to start. And I think that should be its own video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the playlist and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to show you the five keys to start this vehicle.